love. You got to fill us in on this whole no prep situation, man. I, I've got a bunch of questions about it. Um, I, you've, you've been, you've been very busy making videos yourself the rat, the last couple of weeks. I'm sure you've got a lot of, a lot to say, but I think what I want to ask is, does that, does that style of racing interest you at all? Does it pique your curiosity whatsoever? No, the money does what they're paying does. And the passion from the fans does, uh, competing in that sort of arena does not. And I had I've had conversations with uh, some of the powers that be on the TV show um, and it, it, being famous or being on a television show, being successful, zero interest. I want that forty thousand dollars a race that they're paying. So that piques my interest. Um, getting into a passionate group of fans like you think ProMod fans are passionate. You should see my email inbox the last week. Uh, no prep is a whole different level. Uh, and I like that. I think that's good. I think that anything that brings attention to our sport is good. I think that those guys have brought a demographic of fan to our sport that relates to dollars and cents for even me. It gives us a footprint that allows me to go into a boardroom and show them that footprint. If you don't think I don't use some, some of the demographics from some of those events that they have in some of my presentations when I'm just throwing a broad dart in a sponsorship proposal. I absolutely do. I support anything that brings fans to the class. The issue that I have, and let me tell you what piques my interest is when we have the illusion that it's not a TV show. Okay. As long as everybody knows it's a TV show and it's not a, how good you are, you get to win race. And it's, we pick you because we like you or because you've done this, then that is one thing. But when you start saying that, no matter how good you are, your merit, your credentials, or how competitive you have shown to be for the last 25 years, uh, we won't let you race over here, but we're still going to talk shit about you. Uh, that's a problem for me. Uh, it, it's like this. They still, for, for 10 days, because they pissed me off last week. So I started making some calls. I was like, I'm going to buy a car. I'm going to build a car. It feels like you're crazy. They're never going to let you race over there. So I started poking around. I said, I want to know how I can come in. I have asked this question on every forum, every media site, in every contact, in every email inbox I can find. I don't want special treatment. I don't want you to let me in. I want to know how do I do it. I just want a structure. If I got to run it for three years and go win 75 races, that's fine. But just there's no path to do it. So for me to go spend $250,000 to go crush those guys, it doesn't make good financial sense. I like football. You like sports? Absolutely. All right. Thanksgiving. I'll give you an example of what this is like. Thanksgiving. We have a family football game in the front yard. We had it for since I was five years old. It's called a turkey bowl in Augusta, Georgia. You like Fletcher Cox? Big fan. Big fan. One of my buddies. Uh, I tuned his car a long time ago. He used to drive it. Uh, huge respect for Fletcher. Now, if I called up Fletcher on Thanksgiving and I said, the Philadelphia Eagles suck and you suck. We're here in Augusta, Georgia at the Turkey Bowl in my front yard in Evans, Georgia, and we will destroy you. You can never compete over here. If you brought all them Philadelphia Eagles over here, we would beat you into oblivion. Is Fletcher supposed to get all them guys on a plane and come here? What would happen if he did? And then I said, Fletcher, I'm just talking shit. We won't let you come play because we're better than you. <laughs> How's that silly? I, 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 the Turkey Bowl. Fletcher, do not come hit me at the Turkey Bowl because that joker just show up on Thanksgiving. And play. Oh, he's a big, scary dude. He's a big, scary man. And I, he makes me feel like a child when I'm around him. But you know what? To be honest, I, I think that's a really freaking fair analogy. I mean, I think that that's a really, really fair analogy. And But to their defense, I've said this about pro wrestling. I don't know if you're a pro wrestling fan. I'm a big pro wrestling guy. You know, if the WWE rolls into Fort Worth, Texas next weekend, they're not going to bring all their biggest stars, John Cena and Roman Reigns and all these guys out to the ring and then send a call out to the crowd. Anybody want to come in here and try somebody on? Because I guarantee you there's somebody wearing a cowboy hat, overalls and boots that would come in there and tromp a mud hole in John Cena's ass. Right. And then their big star Holy right. cow is now laid out in the, you know, in the squared circle. What do we do now? So I understand Discovery Channel and the, I understand the Street Outlaws perspective because they got to protect their stars. They got to protect their shows. But to your point, you can't also can't argue that you're the baddest in the world and come one, come all. We'll, we'll crush everybody if you're not going to if you're not prepared to have Fletcher Cox show up at Turkey Bowl.
at Turkey Bowl and just like DDT me into a coma. And, and I mean, no, I got so much hate mail thinking that last week I'm hating on grassroots motorsports enthusiasts or people that are coming up and trying to do it. And if you think that about me, you're not, you haven't been a motorsports fan very long. Uh, I have probably less than anybody out here that does what I do. I come from nothing. I have raced in junk on nothing. And I am for anything that brings fan, uh, fans and brings folks into motorsports. Um, <laughs> seeing those fans get so passionate about their favorite racer over there, man, that gets my heart pumping. I like that. Uh, and I want those guys to have a good show and I want them to do that. If the, the no prep people will issue a press release saying that we are sorry, uh, <laughs> we don't want you to come over here. We didn't mean it. I'll go away quietly into the night. But if y'all keep paying a bunch of money and telling me I can't do it, I'm going to figure out a way to do it. I will find the guy who's got the biggest piece of junk, non-competitive car that can't drive. And I will take that car and defeat you with it if you continue to talk trash about me. I've done it before. And uh, we'll just see where it goes. I think whether it happens or not, it's good for the sport. It is, man. Controversy is good for the sport. Uh, this is not a kumbaya sport. This is not a participation trophy sport. So all the love that I got last week and all the hate, that's good. Uh, show up and come watch me win or lose. Pick a side and ride with it. Uh, and we may never get to even feel a car over there. But I promise you, if I decide I'm coming over there and if I decide to come and I build a car to come over there, I'm going to win. Uh, Stevie.